Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special and exciting Ponant webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenters. The webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. The webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenters, Dale Woods and Frederick Jansen. Dale has worked with trade partners in the travel industry for over 30 years, representing some of the industry's best known suppliers. For the past 15 years, Dale has specialized in small ship luxury and expedition cruising. Dale's work has brought him to the far reaches of the globe, including the geographic North Pole and Antarctica, and he is so proud to represent Penance in the northeastern United States. And joining Dale is Frederick, Penance's global sales ambassador, who has more than 17 years of experience as a cruise director on small ships for a variety of luxury cruise lines. He joined Penant in 2012 and has worked on all of Penant's vessels. He is a Belgian living in Andalusia, Spain, I'm very jealous, and is fluent in six languages. A true European, he loves traveling all of Europe, particularly the Mediterranean and especially around the sunny Greek islands. And with that, take it away, Dale and Frederick. Thank you so much, Anna, and hello everyone out there in CLIA land. We are just really delighted to be with you. I was just telling Anna, um, years ago I used to do the CLIA workshops around the country in person, and it's so nice to be back again, although virtually. So we're looking forward to being there in person with you and engaging this year, hopefully. So, But in the meantime, I'm just really delighted also to be with Frederick Johnson, our in-house expert who knows everything, I think, uh, all things put on. So, uh, before we continue, Frederick, would you like to say a quick hello to everyone? Just just um, hello to all of you, of course, and uh, thank you, Anna, and uh, really glad to do this presentation with you, Dale, and we start with already a great picture of uh, of one of our ships in the Mediterranean. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, and it's heated, by the way. We'll get more into that in a moment. As Anna says, we have 40 minutes, lots of material to cover, hoping that this you find very useful and recommend Pona with every confidence. Uh, but before we start, I wanted to bring your attention to a new offer that we have out in the market. Uh, we just deployed an email today. If you're on our email list, look in your email box or your spam box. There will be a listing provided of all the sailings. Uh, Ponon is offering as a tool for you to convert easily. Demand is up for 2022 Europe and we are offering a terrific savings, $750 uh, per person, that's $1,500 per couple, airfare allowance to offset the cost of the airfare for your client. So you can select from anywhere from 40 plus European departures. Uh, there are some Arctic departures there as well, sailings between April and October of this year, valid on all new bookings made up until March 7th. So act quickly. We're hoping with this presentation, as you listen, jot down two or three client names, and if not more, than that but reach out to them and we have marketing assets to provide you as well um we will have an offer brochure attached in the handouts as well as our sales manual as well so with that said we're hoping that that piqued your interest and stay with us because at the end of the presentation there is an offer just for you the advisors so i just wanted to keep your attention and with that i'll just go to the next slide and and just talk a little bit more about ponant yacht cruises and expeditions and we're going to try and make this a conversation i'll i'll state some facts and information frederick will interject and it'll be more conversational in tone just to keep things upbeat, but um, we were founded 30 years ago, over 30 years ago, Ponan has been um, sailing and serving the American market as well. So 1988 was the start of what we call a great adventure. We were founded by the French uh, captains coming out of the French Merchant Navy. So these are sailors, you know, it's in our lineage, it's in our provenance, it's in our DNA, uh, the respect for the water, but also the love for discovering um, the jewels um, by uh, of land, but by sea as we say. So fast forward, back in 1988, we started with Le Ponant, as you see in the upper left corner. At the time, 64 guests. Uh, we'll tell you more about what we've done with her to date, uh, but that is our namesake, Le Ponant. You'll see it next to the name of our company, the logo there. But when I joined seven years ago, we had, what, three ships, and we're now in 2022 with 12 luxury expedition 
vessels. They're all yacht-like, um, and we'll tell you more later, but serving over 400 departures and exploring 450 ports of call in all seven continents, including the geographic North Pole, which we were able to reach this past September. So more on that later. Frederick, anything to add at this point? No, just that uh, Ponant like, is the, um, a westerly wind. So you can say Ponant or Ponant with the T, it's up to you. Just wanted to say the French way, it's Ponant without the T at the end. Thank but you. But great introduction, Dale. Excellent. So I did promise you yesterday during our briefing, I would not pronounce the T. So for everyone out there, I speak only English, but you know what? I've been corrected many times. And Ponant, it's the west of France with the western wind. So thank you, Frederick, for that. Um, and we'll go to a video now, Anna, please. This should give you a nice background of the brand Ponant for those that aren't terribly familiar with us. But I see lots of familiar names out there and lots of new ones as well. And Anna will queue up the video. The sea has been our guide for over 30 years. We use this experience to serve you by designing and creating unique luxury and expedition cruises. Voyage to all four corners of the Earth, from the glaciers of the Antarctic to the lagoons of the Pacific, from Caribbean beaches to the shores of Asia. Discover a world you never knew existed. Ponant takes you to remote places far from the mainstream. From stopover to stopover every morning, a new horizon opens up before you. Enjoy all the magic of Ponant, a travel experience that is both immersive and sophisticated. Deliberately designed for a limited number of passengers, our luxury expedition cruise ships combine design with the latest technology and an eco-responsible approach. Artists, scientists and speakers travel with you, bringing to light the riches of the country's regions visited. Every day, enjoy a taste of excellence with exciting cuisine, full of subtle flavors developed for you by our talented chefs. Enjoy the many activities on offer and share great times together. Opt for an all-inclusive cruise. Let us guide you and savor the pleasures of a voyage returning with memories of a lifetime. Explore the globe with the Explore world's the number one world's in luxury one expedition cruises. Make your dreams of adventure dreams become a reality become in the most reality. comfortable conditions at the heart of extreme, heart landscapes. Of extreme landscapes. Thank you, Anna. And so, yeah, in the heart of um, extreme landscapes is the luxury, the cocoon of luxury that is Ponon. So we're hoping that you will... Um, also um, recommend your clients. So uh, before we get into the nitty gritty of the presentation, I wanted to talk a little bit more about sustainability. Uh, you know, Ponant for the longest time has been at the forefront uh, of the sustainability movement, you know, where uh, we haven't just really bragged about it. We've been receiving many awards and you know we are offsetting carbon totally by a hundred percent and we have there a listing of all our efforts and on our homepage on us.ponant.com you'll find also a link to a multi-page uh, sustainability manifesto which clearly outlines all the initiatives that Ponant has taken including our own foundation the Ponant Foundation focused on people's poles and oceans, which we formed back in 2019. But more importantly, it's the new equipment. Our ships are all refreshed and new and uh, responsible um, and also designated as clean ships by the Bureau de Veritas. But I love the idea that we are named number one environmentally friendly cruise line by a European ranking organization called NABU. But we're also one of the first European cruise lines to join Green Marine, which is here in North America. And as as I mentioned, we're all certified clean, super clean by the Bureau de Veritas, a very stringent um, qualifications that we have met and of course receiving uh, the Blue Charter Trophy as well. But our equipment allows us to really respect the waters that we're sailing in uh, by offering up advanced wastewater treatment where 
I have heard and I also believe that the water's cleaner after we've been there. We're taking the water in, filtering it, and then releasing no gray waste. So the 3D ocean floor mapping, which helps us protect not just ourselves, but the marine life below the water line as well. And, and then that zero impact landing protocol. Um, so we're leaving nothing behind. But sustainability also could be the ambassadorships that we're forming by bringing your clients, our guests, to these remote parts of the world where they're learning all about about where we're visiting and what impact our, our cells have on these far lands, including Europe and the Mediterranean. So it's just a brief um, outline on how what we're doing um, in terms of taking care of business. Uh, Frederick, anything to add to that? Yes, I think the most important point as well is that the company, as you said before, Dale, was created by sailors. So the sailors respect you know, the environment they work on and, and, and it's the sea. And uh, in everything we're doing now and in the future as well, and with our brand new ship, Le Commandant Charcot, it's, it's the, the entire idea, you know, to have the LNG uh, powered vessel, hybrid electric. So like when we went to the North Pole last September, we only used ele electric engines. So we have no noise at all. And the approach to the wildlife like polar bears was just amazing. And this was, this is something that is really important for uh, for Ponant, and it's actually at the base of our guideline. It's a real value for us, um, a brand value. And you know, it used to be years ago, people, it would take them off the fence whether or not to go with a company. Are they taking care of business? Are they sustainable? Are they, you know, respecting the environment? Um, and now it's become a criteria pretty much for many of our clients, many of the luxury clients that we serve. So uh, for the advisors out there, do look at our manifesto that's available to you on the us.ponant.com website by link. Um, so I'll just talk about all about taking care of our clients. I took said taking care of business, the waters we sail in. How about your clients? our guest on board. Everything's all included, uh, all meals, gratuities, port fees, taxes, uh, open bar, 24-hour uh, room service, the butler service is provided for those that are booked in the suites, and shore excursions are included on um, the Smithsonian Journeys departures, and I'll tell you more about that alliance in a moment. Uh, expeditions would include shore landings uh, with our wonderful expedition team, my rock stars, and that is via Zodiacs. And we'll tell you more about the difference between yachting and expeditions in a moment. And then unlimited Wi-Fi from bow to stern and also in the state rooms, of course. And then for the polar expeditions, your very own Ponan Parka to keep, and then uh, boots to borrow as well, the knee-high boots. Uh, Frederick, anything to add to that slide? No, that's, that's you know, a, a mess. if you don't go to the spa or if you don't go to the onboard boutique, basically your end of cruise bill is uh, zero. So that's, Love the good, it. that's the good thing when everything is included. Yeah, it's not so much how much you have to pay to get on, it's how much they charge you to get off. Uh, that's what they say. So, so but I'm going to have a, yes. Point, yes. One important point, Dale, is that on all our yachting uh, cruises, then we will have um, show excursions that are offered, and uh, this is extra, uh, only on Smitho Smithsonian included. But on all our expedition um, voyages, everything is included. All the outing, all the excursions are included. Excellent. And we have a slide on shore excursions too as well. So I'll, I'll offer a few other points on that too. So what I'll do at this point, Frederick, I'm going to um, speak, maybe introduce a slide or two and then really have you uh, go full gear, um, you know, with your experience, your perspective uh, with our crew, with our guest, uh, with uh, onshore experiences as well. And, you know, the onboard experience, um, you know, we say that um, it's a journey with Ponant. It's not a cruise with Ponant. And, you know, I just love the whole idea idea of a typical day would be where you awake and we get on with our adventure, whether it's off the ship or on board in lectures. And, and we have that gourmet interlude, a breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, there's relaxation with our spa and our gym. And, and then, um, you know, just doing tea time in the afternoon as an event and then our culinary um, delights at dinner as well. So, Frederick, take it away with the onboard experience and let me know when you want me to advance the next slide. I'll try and interject as well. Thank you. Know, you. I think that, that um, having worked on bigger cruise ships as well, I think the great thing about Ponant is you, you don't have more than 200 guests and you have all the entertainment you can expect from bigger cruise ships. The only thing we don't have and we don't want is the casino. But otherwise, we have dance evening, we have dancers, we have dance show, we have pianists, we have 
a library, we have a cinema, we have a swimming pool, a spa, hairdressers, you know, as you said. So I think it's really, it's really nice. You have everything. If you want, you can have your quiet space. And if you want, you can have some entertainment. There's a beautiful balance between public spaces and your own stateroom as well. Um, and we'll get more into the ship as well. But, you know, it's all outside facing staterooms. Each person has their own balcony, except for our sister ships with these superior staterooms. There's about eight of those. But, you know, you have somewhere to go, whether it's in your stateroom, on your balcony, or in some of the common, beautifully designed common areas, as you can see by the reception here as well. So next slide. Um, yachting cruises. So what's important about this slide is we need to understand the difference between what a yachting cruise is and what an expedition cruise is. As you know, our name is Ponant Yacht Cruises and Expeditions. And what I always say, the basic difference, not to simplify or oversimplify, would be that expeditions take us to the far reaches of the globe to remote areas where there is no infrastructure no pier to pull alongside or to tender in and instead we use what we call zodiacs or rubber craft with accompanying expedition staff members and expeditions are are pretty much um, with an expedition leader working in tandem with a captain and they set their course and objectives for each day as to how they see the expedition unfolding and you know there's no one expedition alike because it's really subject to the forces of nature whether it's the ice conditions or the water conditions or availability of um, wildlife sightings so that's the expedition and yachting cruising is opposite pretty much it's where we're going into places where there would be infrastructure where we can either pull alongside or close to for tendering where we could offer up optional shore excursions or on smithsonian journeys where the excursions are included and so there are museums and there are other venues churches and archaeological sites etc so the basic difference i think comes down to whether or not it has infrastructure and if whether or not we would be offering up tenders versus zodiacs are pulling alongside and you know iceland for example is considered a yachting itinerary because we actually pull alongside and offer up optional shore excursions frederick anything to add no in in, in the head office we really concentrate on these yachting cruises on all uh, unesco sites as well so whenever there is culture we're going to um, propose like uh, excursions and uh, and also lectures on board about all these beautiful UNESCO sites. You know, Europe is so rich, it's so beautiful and so diverse at the same time that um, this is a point to really take care when we prepare an itinerary. And on both programs, we invite locals to come on board whenever possible to give us the flavor of the local culture. So um, whether it's a yachting or an expedition, if there's a community there that can when we visit they'll come aboard either treat us to their music their art their dance their stories the you know the elders of the community will come aboard and and really share with our guest uh the flavor of the place we're visiting uh, so. and the local food Dave. you don't talk about the food the local food i haven't talked about the food what's wrong with me <laughs> the provisioning locally, especially in Europe, is just so fresh, and we try and yeah. keep it fresh and, and um, varied. And um, absolutely. Thanks, Fred. Frederick. Um, and it's easier so for let, less than 200 guests, it's much easier. Yeah, and we, and we try and keep a varied uh, menu, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that on our gastronomic offerings. But luxury meets experiential. Um, you know, we're offering with these small ships i call them nimble we call them purpose built meaning that we built them we own them we manage them operate them ponant does and and they've been purposely built not older equipment that's been retrofitted to accommodate on um, the ice forging into the ice or smaller ports and call um, they are ours and they offer up an authentic exploration because we are up close and personal we're getting where the larger ships cannot get so there is in-depth exploration as we mentioned we'll have lectures and local artists and um, and community members come aboard on certain itineraries access access to the regions physically but also access to our officers. We have an open bridge uh, policy with appointment. Our officers welcome our guests to come and learn more about what we're doing, how we're operating, where we're going. Access to our crew, our officers, but also uh, to the personalities we hire to speak, um, our guest lecturers. And our clients love that. They want that access. And then 
as a result, one of a kind experiences. We we call it a hashtag ponant moment where we're delivering on spontaneity at its best. Look at this, the kayakers here in, in the harbor and we're talking about perhaps a spontan spontaneous sunset champagne toast out on a beach somewhere. Nothing's um, planned. We have to be spontaneous. And the captain, and in this case on the yachting, the, the cruise director, hotel manager, they all work together in tandem um, to identify those opportunities. And Frederick's been there upfront and personal. Anything to add on the luxury meets experiential? No, I think that, yes, the, the, um, when you have 200 guests, it's like you can take it more personal with, uh, with, with, with the guests. And um, whenever they have a special request, we're going to make everything, you know, possible to, uh, to, to be sure, you know, we, we don't like to say no. So we, we try to make everything possible, really. And it's, it's also with a European touch, I would say. Yeah, and it's our itineraries that are really stand out. Beautiful ships, great service on board, world-class service on board, wonderful speakers, you know, but it's also the itineraries. You know, we're sailing to all seven continents, offering up unique itineraries that clients seek us out for. And we keep them fresh as well. We switch out itineraries and introduce new itineraries year over year, which um, brings loyal clients back uh, to experience more. Um, so there's an atmosphere of a casual elegance. You know, um, we are a French flag cruise line. Uh, we are um, very casual uh, with beautiful, elegant surroundings, but a discreet, understated uh, approach to our cruise product. Um, and so we're not requiring dress up, jacket and ties. We do recommend, if at all possible, a jacket at the very least for the welcome and farewell dinners with our captains and officers out of respect to them. But also we're an international global citizenry on board. You know, we have our guests come from all over the world. And so it becomes a cultural thing. You know, the Americans don't dress perhaps as much as our European counterparts. So you may see clients um, or guests dressed up more than others. So manage that expectations, recommend at least a jacket for the first and last night. But other than that, it's probably what we call country club casual here in the States. Frederick? something to add and we speak english and french on board so if you want to brush up your french you can on board we even give french um, classes and cooking classes <laughs> Excellent. I've had a few of those, although I need to brush up again. So, <laughs> so the art, here we go. I'll say a French word, the art de vivre. The French art de vivre is about celebrating those simple pleasures, savoring good taste and relishing the present moment. You know, it's it's the hashtag Pona moment, not just off the ship, but on board as well. And, and you know, with the fine appointment um, accommodations, there's the whole gastronomic experience, breakfast, lunch, dinner, afternoon tea. There are special uh, events that are planned throughout the cruise, whether it's a wine pairing or a vodka pairing with caviar. Um, I just love the La Dure afternoons, the La Dure macarons, um, and then also our spa experience as well. So, um, Frederick, what's your favorite Pona moment on board the ship? No, I like the fact uh, when that all is inclusive, that the champagne is included as well. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you have the room service 24 hours a day and you have the freedom to choose between two restaurants on the sister ships. And, you know, um, usually it's, it's you know, no, no, no table sitting. You sit whenever you want with whoever you want. And I think this is really a, a kind of freedom you have as well. So if you want to meet or sit with people, you can. If you want to be alone, you can, which I think it's a, it's a good thing. But we tend to, to like the atmosphere on board that everybody likes. We are all together, like, you know, all the, the less than 200 guests all together on the ship. We like to mingle, but um, and the officers are very much present as well. The captain really likes to be around the guests as well. And, and, and that makes a big difference, I think. And, and, you know, in the beginning, everyone's just getting to know each other. And by the end, there's huge tables. You know, we have two tops, four tops, six tops in our dining room. We have the gastronomic restaurant, and we also have our more casual grill on the sister ships upstairs. And, and I remember sailing, and I would see two 
and four is only in the beginning of the sailing. And by the end, they're all becoming friends and asking the maitre d' to put them all together on larger tables. So it's one big party for sure. Um, so excursions, as you like, we kind of mentioned that. We're talking about Europe, so we're talking about more of the traditional yachting itineraries where there is infrastructure, where we are able to provide for optional shore excursions. So again, shore excursions, unless it's a Smithsonian Journeys departure, are not included in the price, but there are optional shore excursions that your clients can choose from. And that's really what the beauty is, our options. A lot of our clients would like options. So usually there's a choice of two to three, probably more in some ports of call that can be reserved in advance through our reservations team or on board through our excursions desk. And they are billed to the shipboard account. By the way, everything is done in euros. So uh, get your euros out. Um, but everything's done on board in euros. And I our clients, the luxury client especially, they want options. They don't want to feel like they're forced into one particular shore excursion. And some just feel that remorse that I just want to stay on board and have my Bloody Mary or my champagne and read a good book because I've been to this port before. But my goodness, I paid for this excursion and I must get off the ship. So, you know, there are all different reasons to really appreciate the fact that we offer optional shore excursions and a breadth, um, you know, a varied experience as well. So. Yes, Roger. we have three options. Either you go ashore as you want, you know, on your own, mm -hmm. or you do with small groups, or you can have a private driver and a private guide. So we can arrange any of uh, of the um, of, of, of that. And so the full board and open bar, breakfast, lunch, dinner, open bar, you know, all that's included, but also room service for everyone. Um, and then suites, the guests booked in the suites, they're, um, they have service of a, of a butler. So Frederick, what really does a butler do? Can you comment? <laughs> uh, I would say a butler, he, um, he says yes. My answer is yes, what's the question? <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> no, Love but it. he's really, you he's really there for you and taking care of you and again I, I just have to mention this it's more in the european way like in a friendly way but also in a discreet way like the service on board is very discreet it's it's classy but discreet as well and um i don't know i think the atmosphere is is, is really is really nice and the contact you have with your butler is also important some guests don't like don't want the butler you know that they feel it's like too much and that's okay but some really love it and uh, you know it's it's up to the guest really yeah and just let us know if you know in advance what the sensitivity level is and you know even yeah. single travelers maybe you could comment on you know single travelers i'm not talking about solo travelers solo travelers are those that are wanting their own stateroom but are traveling with others but single travelers where they're coming with us by themselves and so i often get questions frederick from advisors you know i have a single um client will be your guest do you approach them do you try and work with them and incorporate them into the group how does that work well on 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 day one they embark on day two in the morning at like 11 o'clock in the morning 11 30 we organize a get together for all those that are traveling alone so if they want to come, they can come. And um, so already for lunchtime, they can meet. And then the crew director will also organize, you know, like a, a table or the cocktail or uh, activities and so on. And when you're going out, the, sm the ship is small. So you meet uh, people very easily. When I was a crew director, all the singles were like, if they want, they can really meet uh, meet people. And you we all know that uh, there have been really nice encounters on ships. And some just don't want that socialization. So we'll respect that as well. So we'll have that conversation discreetly, as you say. And, uh, you know, what I love is the access, as I mentioned earlier, and convenience in the ports of call. And, you know, there will be sometimes we'll be at the old city gates, let's say, in some of these ancient ports in, in the Mediterranean in Greece or um, perhaps um, in Dubrovnik. We're more in the old city and I have a slide on that as well. And um, there's something very convenient, as Frederick said before, some clients opt to just do it on their own. Own. do the visit in port on their own run to a quick restaurant for a lunch if they want or go shopping on their own some even hire taxis and just say take me and let me see your city and others do more organized um, shore excursions through the ship um, or we can arrange as Frederick said private but look at that how close it is uh, comparing to the tree contrasting against the ship and uh, and we're often we're free and we're easy to roam versus the larger players in the industry I remember 
were in um, Turkey in Kusadasa, we were having breakfast and we looked up and there was a large ship and we got off way before they did and got back in time and we even saw the library at Celsius. So, um, you know, there are real advantages to small ship cruising and of course demand is up. So seize those sales points and offer them to your clients. Frederick, anything to add to that? No, I think the example of Dubrovnik is the best, you know, with the picture. I think it comes next or, or you know, in the next slide. We have a slide. Yeah, sorry, I, I spoke in advance. So we have um, just a real nice, beautiful um, picture here, um, which is telling us, um, showing us all seven continents, 400 sailings, over 450 ports of call, uh, ranging anywhere from the geographic North Pole to Antarctica, deeper beyond the Antarctic Circle with Le Commandant Charcot. In our summer months in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, we are are in in the northern hemisphere and in our winter months we're down in the some in the southern hemisphere so our fleet will be circling around the entire globe offering onward journeys some are segments that you could book back to back sailings and then we also have weekly departures such as our venice venice croatia sailing our iceland sailings our weekly departures as well um and so yeah um it's so 450 um ports of call 400 sailings seven continents i would say probably 40 percent of those itineraries maybe almost half are expeditions the others are more traditional yachting and we have lots and lots of europe to to offer you so speaking of europe we wanted to do a countdown and offer you just based on the numbers of those from the um, North American market booking, our five most popular European itineraries. And Frederick, I'm just going to go through them. If there's anything you want to add for us, let us know. Um, and so we started with number five, um, from the city of gods to the canals of Venice, Athens to Venice aboard the sister ship, La Lirial, with no more than 264 guests maximum capacity, but we're saying on average they go out with about 230 30 guests on the sister ships um, starting look at the price starting when I last check under 4,000 again it's to your clients that vanished to book early with Ponon bonus fares where we save up to 30 percent offer up to 30 percent savings the farther out from departure and as that ship is become once we start promoting it and 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 it starts booking the bonus fare starts to decrease so it's to everyone's advantage to book in advance if possible and if there's a future cruise credit out there that's business on the table so please get your clients to use those because deals are to be had now and remember in addition to this low fare there's that 750 dollars off per person air allowance on certain departures so sailing from venice to athens a classic mediterranean itinerary with multiple departures both in 2022 and 2023 visiting numerous unesco heritage sites and 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 did you, oh, I want to show the next slide. I'm getting all excited. But Frederick, what did you want to add to that? No, you know that the, the, the thing with Venice is very sensitive. And we are, because the ship is small, we are uh, allowed to be in, in the right center of, of Venice. So already the departure is absolutely beautiful. Of course, Prague, Dubrovnik, Kotor is beautiful. Then you sail the Corinth Canal. This itinerary is really, really nice. And you have like one, two, three. Uh, different uh, countries and um, arriving in Athens with the Acropole, it's uh, it's beautiful as well. Very nice itinerary. It's close to the water, and the water in this region is pristine and crystalline and blue and just gorgeous to be so close and you know just as some of our short excursions I was reading up in Havar we have a four-wheel drive adventure you know I mean just really cool things that we're doing uh, we also have wine tastings and also meeting the winemakers as well just an example of visiting some of the archaeological sites and you know in the Mediterranean it's a much more relaxed um, pace so clients can do what they want to do guests can do what they want to do in our Greek island um, itineraries it's beach Right, they all want to go to the beach. So, um, you know, it's a really nice relax if they want it, as relaxed as they want it. So, what the heck is this, Frederick? Well, it's the passage through the Corinth Canal, and I can tell you there is not much space on port side and starboard side. It's a very exciting experience, and I think like you know, every every guest should do this once in their life because it's really, really uh, nice. Nothing to do with Panama Canal that is amazing as well. Nothing to do with Suez Canal, which is really nice as well. The Corinth Canal is so tight, so narrow. You know, this is one of the biggest ships that can go through uh, the Corinth Canal. Amazing experience. It is amazing. And, you know, the ship is, what, about 50 feet wide? 
So it's so wonderful. Um, and so number four comes in uh, the Celtic voyage, the Hebrides and the Irish Sea sailing from Glasgow to Glasgow on our Explorer class ship, which Max is out at about 184 guests, but with single um, travelers as well, it's probably somewhere around 160 guests on board. Uh, that is in June, and that is sailing all the way up to the Kyle of Lokalsh, Iona, and Dublin's in there. Uh, so we'll be visiting the UNESCO heritage sites as well, the Giant's Causeway, and Elian Donan Castle, and the Isle of Skye, which is really uh, resonates well with a lot of the Americans. They want to see those lavender skies of the Isle of Skye and then the Book of Kells in Dublin. So a really wonderful number four itinerary and great also um, optional shore excursions offered. But here's a classic. We have multiple multiple departures and number three best of croatia high in demand venice to venice aboard the sister ship la lirial or the explorer class ship la jacques cartier and we're exploring six croatian coastal towns including split where we'll see diocletian's palace we'll be sailing the bay of kotor and i believe we'll go along the cornati archipelago which is also filled with great wildlife to visit. So, Frederick, anything to add on the Croatia, which is really a very classic you know, we, 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 We've been doing this itinerary for many, many years. I remember when we started Le Boreal in, uh, Le, Le Lirial in 2015, uh, I, I was on board the itinerary. Really, really, very, very much appreciated by all the guests. You know, it's short, it's just the, the eight days, seven nights, and you see so much and so beautiful. And Croatia is one of these um, European jewels that is not so, you know, everybody wants to go to Italy or to France or to Spain or Croatia is absolute jewel and Montenegro as well. And the airlift is ideal, Venice, Venice, or even in the previous itineraries, Glasgow, Glasgow, and, and Venice, Athens, you know, allows really nicely for pre and post um, uh, pre and post arrangements, which we can certainly assist with. So we have some what we call overland programs as well, um, a little more detailed than what we're offering um, during the cruise on shore excursions. Um, but look at this here. Um, this is beautiful picture of Dubrovnik with the terracotta roofs and close to the old town. Am I correct, Frederick? Yes, but I don't see the next slide. The, gr the great thing is that you um... You know, in, in Gruz, this is where all the bigger cruise ships are, and we are right in 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 front of the old town. So, and the great thing as well, we stay in the evening. So, if you want to go out in the evening, because Dubrovnik is one of these places that daytime and nighttime is completely different. So, we like to stay there in the evening as well, so you have the opportunity to see Dubrovnik by night. Thank you, Dale. So, you really can see the cruise ship or Gruz on the top of the picture, and when we where we are. The, the little yellow <laughs> sailing uh, image there, right in front of the old town in Dubrovnik. Yeah, and so we can walk the walls of the city. We'll have a hiking trip. We'll have wine tasting uh, as an optional excursion as well. We'll learn about the um, religious heritage of uh, the place as well. You know, there are different types of um, excursions. And number two, one of my favorites is the Greek islands, eight days, seven nights on board the Explorer class ships. Uh, really nice, relaxed. That's relaxed as you would like it. It's the smaller islands, uh, Delos and Mykonos and Patmos and Amorcos and, and Hydra and the like. And so we're discovering the Cyclades um, and we have exceptional sailing in the Santorini Caldera. And next year, this itinerary will include both Mykonos and Santorini. So I'm loving that as well with Smithsonian Journeys, which I'll tell you more about in a moment, but we'll also be visiting uh, Patmos, um, very important religious um, site there as well. So the cave of the apocalypse. Frederick, anything? I think you can see it on the itinerary. The idea is really to show you places that are not uh, so popular and we really want to avoid the crowds. So we really go to, to some small, like the typical Greece we want to show you. And uh, in these, in these um, area, in this Asian sea, there are so many small islands and beautiful, beautiful villages where you will feel so so welcome you know the greek hospitality is 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 known worldwide and it's uh, we, we finished with idra and idra is one of these a place where there are no cars and um, so you're just like walking around and uh, you can have lunch there as well and there is there is a nice beach and just before reaching athens and of course if you want there is a possibility to have 
a pre or post cruise package you know staying at in Athens for a few days before or after your cruise and this is of course for all our itineraries Great, thank you for that, Frederick. And so we'll finish with our number one selling uh, itinerary, the Icelandic mosaic Reykjavik to Reykjavik, uh, seven nights on our Explorer class ship La Bello, uh, with an overnight in Reykjavik on day seven and eight, giving our guest uh, options to go into town. There's that optional Golden Circle excursion, uh, visiting the three most emblematic sites of Iceland. Lots of great wildlife with the puffins and the northern gannets and the Arctic uh, terns. And then we have a wonderful um, a wonderful uh, lecture on board as well. So uh, what I didn't mention, if I go back, on the Celtic voyage, you'll see the Ponant Smithsonian Journeys, and I should have taken time real quickly to explain our wonderful alliance with Smithsonian Journeys, which we announced last April. So we have a Smithsonian Journeys uh, dedicated sailings, about 18 sailings in 2022, and, and even more in 2023, where these departures are branded uh, for Smithsonian Journeys, conducted exclusively in English, a uh, perfect way to introduce your clients here in North America to the Ponant brand, two expert speakers on each of those sailings, all inclusive with either an event or a shore excursion included with transfers. So whenever you see a Ponant slash Smithsonian Journeys logo, that is a dedicated departure for Smithsonian Journeys, which is bookable directly through Ponant reservations and you'll earn your full commission as a result and your clients will get the same rich experience as they would with smithsonian journeys and so we're so pleased uh to be partnering i'm sorry to be aligned with uh smithsonian journeys frederick i'm sorry to detract i forgot that was one of my speaking points but go no, ahead let us know all about your icelandic perspective <laughs> sorry about that you know this 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 itinerary is is really really liked as well. This is an area of uh, of Europe that everybody should visit once in their life as well. And it's it's one of the places like French Polynesia, like the Caribbean, where if you cruise, you get more in seven days than if you have to do the land tour. You know, so you see much more landscapes, the fjords, the animals. You know, all the wildlife. This is absolutely amazing. It's short and beautiful itinerary. You couldn't do it by land in seven nights. You're, you're right. It takes about 10 days. So, um, yeah, it's jam-packed with value. So just real quickly, as we are limited on time and we were hoping for a 40-minute presentation, I just wanted to review real quickly the hardware, right? We talked about the software, the butler service, and the gastronomic uh, uh, tradition of Ponant. And, and we didn't even touch on many of the partnerships, um, the partnering brands. So we can get into that m real quickly as well, the butter. Uh, the cheese, the wines, our sommelier service, um, choices of two reds and, and two whites and a rosé. And, and then we have our um, premium menu as well to offer. So that is the software, the fine fabrics and the low-lying furniture profiles and the design. But now it's the hardware. It's the ships themselves, our platform that we launch with these wonderful journeys, not cruises. Remember, I'm, we're calling them journeys. And, and they are intimate. They're yacht-like. And, and so there are four categories or four generations that I refer to and Lo Panon is our namesake and we totally overhauled and gave her a refreshed or refurbishment in 2020 100% bringing her down in size from 64 guests to only 32 staterooms perfect for charters for family groups and the like but we are also offering scheduled departures this summer and that would be in Croatia and also in the Greek islands so keep that in mind look at our website and then the next category over to the right would be the sister ships, La Boreal, La Stral, La Soleil, La Lirial, all named after constellations, right? Or the sky, right? The sun. Uh, remember, we're founded by sailors. That's the love of the sea speaking right there. And, and these ships, um, there are four identical in design. The only difference would be the color palette really on the interior. And La Lirial maxes out at a 244 guests because she has more fixed suites, but you could sell them quite easily across the fleet. Um, it's just the interior design, uh, interior palette. Uh, these are ice strengthened hulls that take us into Antarctica and the Arctic as well. So polar class number six and the next category would be the six explorer class ships. So while everyone was dealing with the pandemic in the last few years, we 
here at Ponan have been launching newer ships. And so we've launched six of the Explorer class ships between 2018 and 2020, maximum oh, okay. capacity 184 guests with a blue eye lounge. And you'll see a photo underwater where the guests can take in the marine life outside with piping in the sounds. But then our newest ship, Le Commandant Charco, accommodating up to 270 guests, just took delivery July of 2021 and actually sailed to the geographic North Pole. Frederick was on that departure and can tell us more in just a moment. But um, we're just so thrilled to be launching a hybrid propulsion vessel, liquefied natural gas and electric, where we're respecting and keeping the water as clean. Um, and we're venturing further into the ice with the technology that the ship um, is offering. So so keep an eye out on a future webinars just dedicated to Le Commandant Charcot and perfect for your luxury guests who have done everything. You know, um, we're visiting places in some cases where more people have been to the moon than to the places such as Charcot and Peter the First Island in Antarctica. But some images as well. Um, here we are with La Boreal, L'Astral, La Solial, La Solial, and 95% balconies with eight staterooms on deck three, the superior staterooms, which are also um, meant for families of so triple occupancy of need it. Um, low furniture profiles, lots of light, casual ambiance, yacht-like. Remember, we're a small ship. Uh, we have the spa, the Sothi spa, um, and wonderful treatments available there. The observation lounge, we have two bars, two lounges, um, and um, two restaurants as well. So the suites, the stateroom, the state-of-the-art theater with um, state-of-the-art audiovisual. And as Frederick was talking about the entertainment before, this is where we'll have our dancers, our concerts, our lectures. We'll have visiting speakers from the local communities uh, treat us to um, their perspective on their um, on their community as well. And the staterooms, what you can see there to the left of the bed would be actually the shower, the bathroom area, with ha which has a privacy door um, that can be slid open so there's more light that comes in and we do keep our toilet, our water closet separate from our shower area. So there's an espresso, there's um, iPod connection, Wi-Fi available in the stateroom, and underwater, under bed storage as well in wonderful closets. But you'll see the prestige suites, they connect so we could either accommodate families wishing to have children in a connecting stateroom or to adults where we can open up the balcony privacy door and keep the adjoining door closed or as a suite as well. And here you'll see on the sister ships, red, it's La Boreal. Remember I told you the differences in the color palette, but a heated saltwater pool out by the casual grill and bar, the bar upstairs to watch sunsets and really a very casual ambiance, a full complement gym with elliptical and cycles and treadmills and free weights and even a universal gym um, a digital um, with your own digital trainer. Um, the dining room, refined dining, that's our gastronomic restaurant on deck two and a more casual grill restaurant on deck six on the sister ships pictured in the upper right corner. And before I go to the explorers, Frederick, did you need to add anything um, for the sister ships? I'm sorry if I seemed rushed. Go ahead. Thank you. So for the Explorer class, this is the new generation or the third generation where we have warmer waters or more temperate waters we're visiting, whereas the sister ships, they visit the polar regions, the Arctic and Antarctica, and everywhere in between, the explorer's focus would be more on the more temperate waters. So talking about the Seychelles, the Indian Ocean, Iceland, uh, the Great Lakes, uh, Australia's Kimberley Coast and the like. So again, all outside facing, all ships are fully ADA compliant with ramps and elevators, uh, and also with spas and gyms. So the same goes for the explorer class ships. Um, you'll see that we've launched La Perouse in 2018, La Bungaville and Le Dumont de in 2019 and Le Bayot and Le Jacques Cartier in 2020. How do you like my French? 92 staterooms and suites with 184 guests maximum capacity, but again, lower with single travel solo travelers and 100% balconies. But if you notice, we have the, the silhouette
silhouette of the Ponant ships offer the arch with glass panels that will bring in natural light filtering down into our public areas. And then our stern would offer up the marina and areas for swimming. But the Explorer class ships really are designed to um, reflecting the regions we call in. Um, so we'll have Aboriginal art and Inuit art, earth tones. This is the owner suite. You'll see the hot tub outside uh, the window there, but a connecting um, suite as well. Wonderful bed and also our prestige stateroom with balcony as well. You'll see the low lying furniture profiles, uh, makeup mirror, cosmetic mirror. We have wonderful um, stocked mini fridge and again, room service for clients in our staterooms and butler service for suites. The sauna with a view, um, casual, elegant, easy on the eye. Um, quiet areas you know i've always been impressed with the feel and the sound or lack of sound it's more of a club like but frederick do you want to talk about the blue eye underwater lounge <laughs> well the, the idea is was to have like eyes under the water so you're on both sides on port and starboard side you have like this um, whale shaped eye um and it's really a relaxation lounge and it's uh it's uh, multi-sensorial, meaning that you can hear the sea. We have microphones under the sea. We have cameras under the um, under the sea, so you can actually see the dolphins on all, you know, on the screens and in your TV on the on the screens of all the of all the ship as well. So it's it's just and, and of course you have a champagne bar, which is really nice. And in the evening, the atmosphere is completely different. It's a very cozy and very nice uh, area. Amazing. And the art installation, well, yeah. see the jellyfish, yeah, beautiful. So real well quickly, yeah, as well. yes, trifold submersible marina where we are flush at the water level or we can submerge it below the water level or raise it above the water level, depending on the activity at hand, whether it's zodiac launches or if we're doing kayak launches or paddle boarding or snorkeling or deep sea diving as we do in the Indian Ocean and the Caribbean. So overhead of aerial view with the pool. But lastly, and more importantly, is our Le Commandant Charcot. May not be in the classic yachting itineraries, but this ship is serving the European Arctic, going to the North Pole and out of Long in Spitsberg in Norway. And so I'm going to go to a quick video, just to wet your whistle. Contact your BDMs, your local uh, team, um, your sales reps at Ponant for more information on this wonderful hybrid vessel. So let's go to the video quickly on it. Thank you. Good uh, morning, dear passengers, your guest, uh, your captain. So we just reached 900 degrees north. Uh, it's a very historical moment. Uh, it's the first uh, time that a French uh, ship arrived to the pole. And, uh, and we are, all of us, very proud. Is that it was a team spirit uh, with the company du Ponant. And uh, with definitely a lot of humility, we will accept this victory, let's say. So, enjoy North Pole. Thank you, Anna, for playing the video. And and what I wanted to just mention to you is that we do have the Ponon Academy available to you for more training. It doesn't stop today. Frederick, I enjoyed presenting with you, an expert on everything Ponon, and really I learned something every day. And, and for our advisors, we would invite you to pononacademy.com. Um, you'll earn a $100 Amazon e-card if you provide us with a booking within four months of completing, but you'll also earn CLIA credits and also continue 
UN Education Unit. So again, it's www.pononacademy.com. But do you know there are other offers out there in the market, such as no single supplement. And when we last checked, 108 departures with absolutely no single supplement. And that single traveler is accommodated in the very same in a stateroom that is a double stateroom. So we don't have dedicated single staterooms. This would be a full-size stateroom for your single traveler. And there are other offers. I mentioned the Ponon Bonus Fair, 30% off, the farthest, farther out you book. And that starts to uh, wane a little bit as we sell into that departure. Share the moment. If you book three staterooms under one booking, we'll attack on another 5%. And then the solo traveler fares. But remember, the air credit, I'm sorry, the air allowance, no proof of air purchase required book before March 7th so your clients will re receive a $1,500 per couple allowance and again no proof of air credit and lastly for you the advisor on the 2022 or 2023 Mediterranean and Smithsonian journeys will provide you with a $100 Amazon e-card for each stateroom you reserve we just need you to re Give us your uh, CLIA number and the code CLIA Commission 2022 when you're booking, and we'll send you the e-card two weeks from the date that you provide us this information and make a deposited booking. So keep that in mind. Um, we'll go to the questions and answers if we have time, but this is our team here. Teresa Gata is our leader, Vice President of Sales North America, Preston Cadell in the Central US, Ellen McElvain for the Northwest, myself in the Northeast, and Yanetti Perez there on the upper right for the Southeast. Rita is our Director of Groups, Catherine our Director of Call Center, and then in Canada, Vanessa and Olga are supporting Ponan, and we are soon announcing our Director for the Southwest USA, so keep your eyes and ears open for that as well. So. Any questions, Anna, for us to answer in the few minutes that we have remaining? We made it, Frederick. Perfect. Thank you so much. We do have just a few questions. Our first one is from Denise, who is wondering if there are children allowed on board and if there are activities for children. Excellent question. Frederick, would you like to take that question? Yes, I understood the first part, but um, and, and the second part? Activities for children. Uh, are yes, children all right. allowed in so activities? We have in um, in the Mediterranean, we have some departures that are with the kids club. So it means that you have entertainers that are taking care of uh, children between four and 12. And the children are of course very welcome on all our uh, departures, but we don't have a lot of children usually on our departures, just the kids club, um, a, few, a few more. Um, yes, they can, they can come on board. I think it's from three years old on the yachting cruises. And expedition, it's a bit uh, older than this. I think we change it to uh, to eight years old on on expedition trips, and uh, they are more than welcome. We have also a kids area, you know, with some some videos and uh, and the dancers and the crew director usually take care. Even even the captain sometimes makes some some zodiac tours with them. I mean, children are more than welcome, and they are well taken care of. Thank you, Frederick. Got it, thank you. And we have just one more question from Claire, who is wondering if uh, advisors can find Penant Collateral online. And I know that we have some handouts attached to this webinar, so that would be a great time to speak to that as well. Yeah, so we, I, invite everyone to sign up to the Ponon Pro. It's the travel advisor portal. You just go to us.ponon.com, us.ponon.com. At the bottom, trick travel advisor section. You'll need to know your account code, so just contact your BDM. We'll give you the step-by-step -step instructions. Sign up for the portal, and there's the travel advisor toolkit filled with flyers and video content. We also have a YouTube video as well, so um, feel free to visit us on YouTube, Ponant, and Instagram, and Facebook. Wonderful content to be inspired by and push out and share as well. So um, I've had an, an advisor lately just to, um, um, share a Croatian video, and she now has eight guest booked for June next year. So video is really compelling. Thank you. Perfect. And those are all of our questions. So thank you so much, Dale and Frederick, for all of that wonderful information. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Merci to all. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.